Mary Claire King born February 27, 1946, is an American human geneticist. She is a professor at the University of Washington, where she studies the genetics and interaction of genetics and environmental influences on human conditions such as breast and ovarian cancer, inherited deafness, schizophrenia, and also HIV, and lupus. King is known for three major accomplishments, identifying breast cancer genes, demonstrating that humans and chimpanzees are 99% genetically identical, and applying genomic sequencing to identify victims of human rights abuses. In 1984, in Argentina, she began working with Abuelas de Plaza de Mayo grandmothers of Plaza de Mayo in identifying children who had been stolen from their families and adopted illegally under the military dictatorship during the Dirty War 1976 Education King received her undergraduate degree in mathematics cum laude from Carleton College. She completed her doctorate in 1973 at the University of California, Berkeley in genetics, after her advisor Alan Wilson persuaded her to switch from mathematics to genetics. In her doctoral work at Berkeley 1973, she demonstrated through comparative protein analysis that chimpanzees and humans were 99% genetically identical. King's work supported Alan Wilson's view that chimpanzees and humans diverged only 5 million years ago, and King and Wilson suggested that gene regulation was likely responsible for the significant differences between the species. King completed postdoctoral training at the University of California, San Francisco, UCSF. Scientific career King accepted a faculty appointment at the University of California, Berkeley, as Professor of Genetics and Epidemiology 1976 while on the faculty at Berkeley, in 1990, King demonstrated that a single gene on chromosome 17, later known as BRCA1, was responsible for many breast and ovarian cancers as many as 5 to 10% of all cases of breast cancer may be hereditary the discovery of the breast cancer gene revolutionized the study of numerous other common diseases prior to and during king's 17 years working on this project from 1974 to 1990 most scientists had disregarded her ideas on the interplay of genetics with a complex human disease Genetics had been used in diseases with a simple genetic tie, such as Huntington's disease, cystic fibrosis, and sickle cell anemia, but researchers were skeptical about the use of genetics in the more common and complex diseases caused by multiple genetic factors as well as environmental influences. King's discovery paved the way for ultimately identifying the gene a few years later. Her contribution has been able to inform women of genetic information, which then can aid women in making the choices best for themselves and for their future. The technique King developed to identify BRCA1 has since proven valuable in the study of many other illnesses and conditions. Since 1990, King has been working in collaboration with scientists around the world to identify genetic causes of hearing loss and deafness. They successfully cloned the first non syndromic deafness related gene in 1999. King continues to work with scientists Karen Avraham in Israel and Moyan Kanan in the West Bank, modeling international scientific cooperation in conjunction with conducting scientific research. Hereditary deafness is common amongst some endogamous Arab communities, providing good study populations to understand the genetics of this condition. King in recent years has developed a deep interest in studying the genetic factors influencing schizophrenia. In collaboration with scientists across the continents, her group has been working to identify genetic factors related to schizophrenia. King has also worked on the Human Genome Diversity Project, which seeks to delineate the distinctions among individuals in order to further understanding of human evolution and historical migrations. At the request of Dr. William Maples, King participated in DNA investigations of the first analysis of Romanov remains exhumed in 1991 in Ekaterinburg, Russia. In 1995, King took an appointment as the American Cancer Society professor at the University of Washington. She is a current member of the Scientific Council of the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation. Topic human rights work King first applied her genetic skills to human rights work in 1984, when she and her lab began working with Abuelas de Plaza de Mayo, grandmothers of Plaza de Mayo in Argentina. 
She used dental genetics to identify missing persons, ultimately identifying 59 children and helping return them to their biological families. Most had been born to women in prison who had been persecuted as political dissidents and were later disappeared by the Argentine military dictatorship during the eight-year from 1976 to 1983. These children were often illegally adopted by military families without their mothers or other family consent. Beginning in 1977 Las Abuelas had gathered to protest the disappearance of their grandchildren and seek their return. Every Thursday, they marched to the central plaza in Buenos Aires plaza de Mayo to demand the return of their grandchildren, and they began gathering data trying to identify the many missing children estimated to be 400 to 500. By the time King joined the project, the dictatorship had been replaced by a democratic government, but it required proof of kinship to remove children from families and return them to biological families. King's technique, using mitochondrial DNA and human leukocyte antigen serotyping genetic markers from dental samples, proved invaluable. The Supreme Court of Argentina in 1984 determined that King's test had positively identified the relationship of Paula Lagers to her family, establishing the precedent for the ultimate reunification of dozens of families with their stolen children. Since 1984, this technique has become a major method for genetic identification of the deceased as well as the living. In 1993 King used the technique to identify the remains of individuals massacred in the village of El Mozote, El Salvador. More than 750 adults and children were massacred and buried in mass graves by U.S. trained Salvadoran soldiers at Battalion. King has worked with numerous human rights organizations, such as Physicians for Human Rights and Amnesty International, to identify missing people in countries including Argentina, Chile, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Haiti, Honduras, Mexico, Rwanda, the Balkans Croatia and Serbia, and the Philippines. King's lab has also provided DNA identification for the U.S. Army, the United Nations, and the UN's war crimes tribunals. While she has become renowned in humanitarian circles for her genetics identification work, King has been politically engaged her entire life. She protested the Vietnam War during her college years. She says, the single most effective thing we did was on the day after the U.S. invaded Cambodia, we got out our suit jackets and shirtwaist dresses, not clothes that any of us had worn since coming to Berkeley, and went to the synagogues and churches and by the end of Sunday we had 30,000 letters opposing the action. While doing graduate work, King later worked with Ralph Nader studying the effects of pesticides on farm workers. In the early 1970s, she was teaching science in Santiago, Chile, when Chilean President Salvador Allende was assassinated on September 11, 1973, in a CIA-backed coup. She has been supportive of women and ethnic and sexual minorities in science, and critical of genetic patenting. Topic personal biography King was born in Evanston, Illinois in 1946 and has a younger brother, Paul King, who went on to become a mathematician and business consultant. When King was 15 years old, her childhood best friend died of cancer. King became interested in science in the hope of learning enough to prevent and treat such illnesses. She graduated from Carleton College in 1966 at the age of 20 with a BA in mathematics and received her PhD from the University of California, Berkeley in 1972–1973. King has one child named Emily. Emily has studied the evolution of languages at Brown University. King's younger brother Paul King was CEO of Vanalco, in Vancouver, Washington. Topic awards, prizes, and honors Dr. King has won numerous awards, prizes, and honors for her scientific and humanitarian work, including Doctor of Science, University of British Columbia 2018, 2018 Shaw Prize in Medicine 2018 Dan David Prize 2014 National Medal of Science awarded in 2016 Tuba Academy Prize in Health and Life Sciences 2016 The Cell Press TNQ India Distinguished Lectureship Series 2017 2014 Hudson Alpha Life Sciences Prize 2014 Lasker Award Special Achievements 2013 Paul Ehrlich and Ludwig Darmstadter Prize 2010 CSHL Double Helix Medal Honoree Drive A.H. Heineken Prize for Medicine 2006. Wiseman Women and Science Award 2006. Peter Gruber Foundation Genetics Prize 2004. 
National Academy of Sciences 2005 Honorary Doctor of Science Harvard University 2003 Catholieke Universiteit Leuven 2006 Honorary Doctorates from Columbia Yale Princeton Brown Carleton Smith Bard Dartmouth and Tel Aviv University's Klaus Award for Basic Research American Association for Cancer Research 1994 Jill Rose Award the Breast Cancer Research Foundation Brinker Award Susan G Komen for the Cure Woman of the Year Glamour Magazine Phi Beta Kappa Sigma Xi Fellow of the AAAS Institute of Medicine Council, Institute of Medicine Notable Professional Service, Robert Wood Johnson Foundation's Minority Medical Faculty Development Program, Scientific Advisory Board United Nations War Crimes Tribunal UN Forensic Anthropology Team National Cancer Institutes Breast Cancer Task Force National Institutes of Health Genome Study Section Office of Research on Women's Health Advisory Board King has five patents and over 250 peer-reviewed Journal articles. References <references>